Hi, I'm Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. Within every neighborhood, there are people struggling to provide enough food for their families. I'm joined today by Grace Thomas, who works with Community Action Services and Food Bank. She's here to share how her organization helps feed individuals and families and do so much more, right? Yes, that, that is correct. Because you are a food bank, but you're also the community action services part. Yeah, so I think we're most commonly known as being a food bank. We operate four food banks within Utah, Wasatch, and Summit counties. Um, but in addition to providing food, we also do tons of other services. We do like a financial literacy class for those people who have never really, they don't know how to create a budget. They've never really had someone teach them um, how to manage their money. We do home buying classes for those who are trying to get into a home for the first time. Um, and we also do this program that's called Circles. It's actually um, a national in initiative that we partner with that the whole purpose is taking families um, in generational or situational poverty and giving them the resources to get out of poverty and stay out of poverty. Such important services, all of those that, that you provide to really help people become self-reliant. Yeah. And yet sometimes their very basic need of food is something that they need to meet and you do help feed a lot of people. Don't yeah, you? yeah, definitely. So um, we have, I mean, hundreds of people that come through our food pantry every day, or not every day, excuse me, but every month. And um, this holiday season, we're gonna see those numbers double. Um, it's just a very hard time of year for some families, those who have a hard time making ends meet. And not only that, now you have Christmas to worry about and you know, food for Thanksgiving, things like that. Um, and so we have a couple different food drives that we try to do throughout the year, um, which unfortunately due to other conditions and stuff like that have actually been um, not as su successful as we hoped. So mm -hmm. we're teaming up with the couples in the community to do some food drives throughout the the holiday season, but I mean, the need is so high and it's sad to see so many people who are in need, but it's neat that we're able to come together as a community and really actually help these people. Absolutely, because we do have a need right here in our community in Utah, yeah. right? Which a lot of times we think they're starving people across the world, but but really it's closer to home. Yeah, I mean, when you think of the word poverty and hunger, you often imagine, you know, a child in Africa, and, and while that need is very real, it's right here in our backyard. A lot of people think, you know, Utah, Happy Valley, that that doesn't exist, but it does. And in fact, uh, Utah County alone um, has over 14% that lives in, in poverty. And um, the definition of poverty often just includes financial, um, a financial number, but it's so much more. There's the emotional stress behind it that influences a child's ability to learn or, um, you know, just, it, it influences more than just a, a amount of money in your pocket, but a whole life aspect. And so there's a huge need here in Utah County actually, and throughout the state. And what are the things that you need most what, to donate over the holidays? Yeah, so right now we need food donations, um, obviously just because that's such a high need. Um, they can also do specialty kits. So for example, like hygiene kits, um, toothbrushes, toothpaste, deodorant. Um, a lot of times organizations will get together and do like build different hygiene kits and donate them. Yeah. That is greatly appreciated because they go so fast. Um, but one thing that a lot of people don't realize too is we're able to, um, get food at a cheaper rate. So for every dollar that's donated, we're able to feed, uh, provide five meals for somebody because we're able to go out and buy more bulk, that's, if that makes sense. That's so a lot better than even, I can do it, so that's good. Even if it's just dropping $5 yeah. off, that I mean, that's 25 meals for somebody, so. And you have a new facility in Spanish Fork. Well, so it's actually um, our Circles program that I was talking about mm -hmm. earlier. Um, they have new sites. Um, that they're opening in Orem and in Spanish Fork. And that just means that um, we're gonna be doing new classes for those who are in poverty and who wanna get out. Um, they teach a class every week and then they connect them with mentors and allies throughout the community. Um, so for example, let's say you wanna start a catering business, you never had a degree type of stuff. Um, you work with our Circles program and they set up a business plan for you to get going. They help you get up on your feet. And so they're opening up a new site in Spanish Fork because the need there is, is very yeah. high. 
Um, and we're actually doing an open house in November, November 5th, uh, for anybody in the area that wants to come learn how they Great. can be involved. Um, and remind us of your website so people can yeah, go definitely. there. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, communityactionuc, as in utahcounty.org. Excellent. Thanks so much for being with us, Grace. Yeah, thank you. To find out how you can partner with Community Action Services and Food Bank to help provide food for local families, please visit our website, kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for watching and join us again on Community Connection.